Nithinandam, this is Mark and welcome to the NTV ne Evening News from Janapi Damashram in Bididi. It's Tuesday, January 31st, 2012. And now for the headlines. In this morning's Bhagavad Gita discourse, starting from chapter 4, verse 3, the 2012 Guru expanded on the topic, Surrendering to Friendship. In her awakening, day 2 for LBP1. Ingenious Gurukul Kids commended by Swamiji. Goraram additions to Bididi Goshala. News from around the globe. Other upcoming programs from Bididi. Now for the main news. In today's talk on Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, verse 3, Swamiji describes the special zone of being friend to one's Guru. Being a devotee is a lovely privilege and brings us many blessings. But if our devotion rises to the point where the Guru feels in his heart that he can trust us and rely on us, we enter the dimension of friendliness. Our interactions with the Guru radiate both affection and honest surrender. This is the relationship Arjuna has evolved into with Sri Krishna. Swamiji told how the real scale of spiritual growth is the honest conclusion the Master has about you. The essence of today's message was to evolve yourself to where the Master says he really trusts you and feels you are his devotee and companion. Nothing else matters in the life if your Master can say you are his friend and companion. Evolve yourself to create the deep feeling connection from the Master towards you. Getting a place at his feet is okay, but getting a place in his heart is the real achievement. Know again and again all things can only happen with his grace and build the right file in his heart. He will pour his whole being into you. That is why I always tell you, with Master, before committing, think again and again. Because nothing else matters in the planet Earth. Your spiritual growth, mental growth, physical growth, wealth, relationships, everything can happen. Just if the Master's grace is there on you, Nothing will be useful if the grace is not there. So build the right fire in Master's heart. Your book of heart does not show your spiritual growth. It only shows your spiritual strength. My book of heart shows your spiritual growth. The Nitya Kriya for today's satsang was care for thyroid problems. Inner awakening, twice as intense as day one, is day two. 
An absolutely amazing and diverse group has gathered for this Inner Awakening program. Of course, there are many languages and nationalities represented, but the participants' presence was really evident during NTV's live Nitya Yoga broadcast this morning at 5 a.m. There was a real enjoyment and interest in the air, and the whole group is eager and collaborating, even though this is our first 5 a.m. morning, said a Sabah organizer. Inner Awakening participants joined with Ashramites for N Fitness, which is an exercise program developed through Swamiji to specifically work on awakening an individual's Kundalini. Dhyana Pitam, the place where the science of enlightenment lives, with orientation and body measures complete at Dhyana Pitam, the Inner Awakening participants concluded the first day of the rest of their lives with last night's direct energy transfer from Swamiji in Darshan. Once again, particip participants will benefit from daily darshan, a powerful healing process bringing clarity and energy to overcome all obstacles. Participants will also be directly initiated into ancient techniques to rapidly cleanse the physical, mental and emotional bodies of accumulated impurities. The group continues with the Life Bliss Level 1 program today, given directly from Swamiji himself. What an amazing healing experience, including a third eye meditation. Keep up with NTV for continued updates from the Inner Awakening experience. In other Bidhi the Ashram news, Ingenious is a 21-day program for kids that runs, runs alongside Inner Awakening. The group has been very busy learning constantly with lots of kids from the Ashram Gurukul. During this morning satsang, Swamiji told he gives to the Gurukul, Gurukul kids what he would if he were to have a son or daughter. Swamiji commended the students of the Gurukul for imbibing his teachings even more than ashramites in the temple and other departments have. Devotees from Mandya along with Avodya Shivananda Ashram in Bangalore donated three cows to Bidhidhi Ashram. Here's a short clipping of the celebrating. And in international news, the Los Angeles USA Temple advertises its first Chinese language lifeless program on February 25th and 26th. Contact the temple for details. Groups in Hyderabad, Mill Valley, Theravanamale and Los Angeles defined their common Sangha vision, mission statements and completed and shared their roles as Sangha members, radiating friendliness towards one another in the community. In program news, Shivaratri Devotees are already looking forward to the Maha Shivaratri celebration this year on February 20th. Nithinanda.org has posted details for this year's celebration. Click on the website links for more information while reserving your spot in the February 11th webinar on Kailash. There is an NSP, Nithinanda Sparana program, planned for March 1st to 4th in Bidhidhi Ashram. This program is a true opportunity to completely shatter all illusions you have of your life and death. Connect to nithinanda.org to register and attend the multi-day transformation. That's all from us for now. Stay tuned to NTV for continued broadcasting as well as live arati from Nithinandeshwara Temple at 6.15 p.m. India Standard Time. Let us now enter news with a bliss dose from Swamiji. Laugh and feel it heal. Thank you for joining us from the Laughing Temple in Bidhidhi Ashram, Nithinandam.